Good evening. How you all doing? Yeah, walking wisdom number 18. Robert Baton, Arrow Fitness and Holistic Wellness. Yeah, um, it's been a month since the last one. That's been for three weeks since the last one I did. Yeah, um, sorry I'm not outside. Actually messed up. Forgot it wasn't summer anymore when I planned the last one. So yeah, I can't really do this outside at all, can I? Because it's dark. So <laughs> I'm like stumbling around the park in the dark, around trees and stuff, because just get a bad reputation. You know, well, that's how I got one last time anyway. So um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. The, this walking wisdom is all about the astral light. Um, you know, sounds wishy-washy, sounds new age, and, and I like to put a, a realistic slant on all this stuff. By the way, I'm sitting in my kitchen, if you wonder where I was. You know, the... And I'm a bit nervous about doing this one. It's been a little while, but you know, this means a lot to me. And there was a time in my life when things couldn't get worse for me. Things couldn't get worse for me at all. I was at a real low point. Um, and you know, that's when I really didn't grasp reality. And people who know me know um, the low points quite recently really that I've been through. And just understanding what the astral light is and doing a lot of research changed my life completely. Absolutely changed my life. I mean, I was stuck in negative energy and I did a lot of research, theosophy, um, transcendental stuff, building on knowledge I had before. And yeah, um, yeah, it changed my life. What is, what is the astral light first? What is the astral light? Now, stick with me here, okay? Stick with me. Let me start by saying it's, um, it's like a bridge of vibrations between the physical and the spiritual. And you can't really describe it without using metaphors and symbols because there's no way of describing the abstract. It's not light and it's not matter. But it's a, light's a good way of explaining it because light is a vibration and light illuminates. See, there's many planes I mean, the seven, eight, nine, depends what school of thought you follow. Different planes of existence. We live on the physical plane mainly. And the physical plane is like a window of restriction. Where we only perceive reality through the senses. Now, this is not new age theory. This is backed up by science. You know, it's not matter or energy. Modern science has proven the lines between matter and energy are very, very blurry. When you get into um, quantum physics, even as a layman, it opens up the possibility of a substance that is neither matter nor energy, but somehow it's both. And this is what the astral light is, to a certain extent. I mean, when we begin to see the world as oneness, uh, as oneness and just as energies, um, separated by a manifestation of our senses, then this is when we begin to understand what the astral light is and how we can manipulate it. So it's just seeing things as oneness. Sounds silly. I'm going to stick with me because I'm going to tell you how I do this. You know, all substances of forms and ideas are imprinted on the astral light and then become reality in the physical world. You want to go think of the butterfly effect? It's a small, if you, I don't know if you're familiar with the butterfly effect. Um, it was a theory proposed by a scientist about, he did a lot of research on tornadoes and he found just the flutter of a butterfly's wings could completely change the tornado weeks later. And people who know about the law of attraction will also know about this as well, about what the astral light is. So the astral light is a substance that forms and ideas that are imprinted. It's the world's memory bank. It's the preservation of thoughts, emotions, and ideas. Everything is preserved on the astral light. You can't do any deeds in secret, in secret at all. Everything you do is imprinted on the astral light. I mean, even the most skeptical of you lot can't deny that energy spreads like happiness and melancholy, melancholy or even the magnetism of a charismatic individual, you see how energy spreads completely. You 
and this is where we see the astral light in its in its wholeness so there's two laws there's two laws and the two laws are like attracts like firstly first law is that like attracts like and the second law is action creates a reaction so whatever you do thoughts deeds emotions actions they create a reaction and those those then um, attract like emotions thoughts deeds and actions to them so you put a thought out there you put you you put an idea out there you put a feeling out there eventually it runs out of steam and it comes back to you now this is what they call karma now you don't always see it immediately you don't always see it immediately and that's why people don't often see the connection but I've seen the connection and I use the connection and I use it because I've seen just out changing my thoughts actions and deeds to become positive and think about everything being as one has meant that I've been able to control my life and control myself and people always ask me people always people I spoke to somebody the other day and it's happened before people describe me as the happy one the smiley one or oh, you're the one that's always smiling and people ask me how I do this I mean I work like 60 70 hour a week sometimes all the stuff I do and I'm so happy because of the energy I give out you don't want to allow yourself to be ruled by bad energy you give out so just a, just a just sharp tongue or just just spreading a bit of gossip or saying something just nasty or a nasty thought and that bad energy is going to come back to you you know so this can be used as a, as a method of a, a positive method of self development it means you can finally limit the negative energy that permeates yourself and replace it with positive energy that will make you stronger and stronger and you can eradicate rash decisions and spur the moment things and anger just by increasing positivity in your life and cultivating kindness and good ideas and watch it come back to you and this is what the astral light is but that's 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 a minimal that's a minimal amount of what the astral light is manifestation of good energy also comes to us in large forms and it comes back to us more than tenfold and i've seen it in action i've seen good things happen to me i've been in situations and i'm not going to describe them here cuz very personal but people who know me know this i've been in situations at the very bottom and i've used this manifestation technique these techniques of focusing and visualization of positive energy to manifest things that i wanted and all my dreams have been realized they're all being realized now now you can't realize a fancy car you can't poof, you can't imagine a million quid down on the floor in front of you and it appears it doesn't work like that but what you can imagine what you can visualize that visualize is the positive root and seeing the oneness of everything and everybody and everything that exists from here to the furthest thing of the way in the universe we all connected there's no difference we only perceive the difference through our senses and that's perception two men are standing in a room so he's standing outside and one says it's really bright today the other one says i think it's really dark who's right both they're both right cuz one has his eyes closed perception is reality your reality don't get confused <laughs> see i only do these videos about for about 10 minutes so i could probably go on for quite a while talking about the astral light yeah i'm open to questions if anybody wants to ask me any questions to this about 20 seconds but for the but for the purpose of i'm going to load this to um youtube so for the purpose of youtube i don't want to keep this going on too long any questions put them in the um comments now after this or even hit me up that's absolutely cool yeah man avowellness.com a w r o wellness.com robert bayton at avow fitness a w r o fitness check my patreon site out yeah have a great night and i hello to everyone who's watching i really appreciate it so i didn't say hello during the video but when i up upload them to youtube then it starts to look a bit silly when i'm saying hello to people who aren't actually there 
but I really appreciate it tonight, guys. Have a great night. Positive manifestations all around.